captain's log, space date 2457-613. The crew and I are en route to the drunken homeworld after nearly two decades of war between our two cultures. We are one of several peace envoys assigned by Space Fleet to negotiate with our sworn enemy for an end to all hostilities. While this is a grim task, I have taken solace in the fact that it has the added benefit of reuniting me with a very dear old friend. Good evening, everyone. No need to stand attention. You're very busy. Commander Jarek. Could I have an update on our status? Things got rather messy while I was giving Chief Warren a hand down in engineering. I have to admit, I lost complete track of time. Oh, you were just about to call me? Ah, I see the clue is early to our rendezvous. Always punctual, that captain. Send them a message. Let them know that they're more than welcome to come aboard before we set off for Drunken. We have some of the finest chefs in the quadrant aboard. We might as well use them. Oh, they're already en route? That was certainly quick, wasn't it? And they're coming aboard immediately? How exciting. No, Commander. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm just looking forward to catching up with someone I haven't seen in a long time. I trust you can handle things while I get to the Kalu's Captain Commander? I might be a few minutes. Very good. I can always trust you, can't I? Please inform the Kaluuya's captain to meet me in my quarters and... Oh, I'll see you for dinner, Commander. Please contact me if anything important arises. And I'll let you know how things go. Enter. Ah, Captain, it's good to see you. Thank you for showing the Captain to my quarters ensign. Please leave us. It's been a long time, Captain. <sighs> wow, it's really good to see you. D did I say that already? Sorry, I'm, I'm just a little stunned, if I'm honest. The last time I saw you was back in the Dramuk sector. You'd just been shot by those drunken pirates and I was trying to stabilise your wound. There was blood everywhere. You were so pale and... Well, you closed your eyes and I thought I'd lost you. Obviously I didn't. You're here now after all. Thank the stars, Chief Platt arrived when she did. But how are you? How's your wound? The cybernetics look quite seamless. Save for some of the more pronounced implants, they're barely noticeable. Captain Taggart made the right call sending you back to Earth. Only wish we'd gotten a chance to talk before the war broke out. Obviously communications became a lot more limited, but... A... a captain. I can't believe it. Both of us. We got where we wanted to go. And I couldn't have done it without you, could I? Oh, I know you didn't get a chance to help with my studies, like I asked, but the fact that you were supportive of what I want to do meant so much. I... I'm sorry I'm, if I'm gushing, it's just... Well, I've had a lot of time to think about things I want to say to you, haven't I? Yeah, I got reassigned shortly after Dermok. Something about battlefield heroics. I don't know about that, but... They bumped me up to a lieutenant junior grade. Then, a few months later, I got moved up to lieutenant. Then, a few years later, commander and... Well, here I am now. Captain of the Vigilant. Beautiful ship, isn't she? But you... You're captain of the Kaluuya. Did you ask to stay assigned there once you'd recovered, or...? Oh, Captain Taggart asked for you personally? I... I guess it was a positive impression, then. Not your B.O. <laughs> that was very kind of him, though. Stars rest his soul. How is the old girl? Still chugging along? Still hopelessly outdated every conceivable way? Ah, good. 
I wouldn't have it any other way. The Vigilant is a fine vessel, top of the line, modern and strong in every sense of the word. But her engine is so quiet, compared to the Kaluyas, which sounded like it was about to explode every time we went above wall five. I miss it. If it weren't for the circumstances, I'd ask for a tour. But we're busy, aren't we? We don't have time for little indulgences anymore. Oh, um, I'm so sorry, Captain. I should have asked. Would you like something to drink? Nothing too strong, of course. All right. Computer, one of what the captain just asked for. And I'll have a caramel macchiato. Thank you, computer. Cheers. I suppose this is one little indulgence we can still have, isn't it? Drinking with friends. Speaking of, I was a pretty terrible one, wasn't I? Not as terrible as I was as an ensign, but close. Complaining all the time. Acting like you had it easy. Sorry about that. And thank you again. If you hadn't helped me get my act together, I'd probably still be an ensign. Or back home wondering why I wasted every opportunity I'd been given. You were a really good friend. And I didn't realise just how important you were to me until I was covered in your blood. Watching your eyes roll back into your head and trying to resuscitate you. You really... You really mean a lot to me. And I know we're both captains. And I know we both have duties to fulfil. People relying on us. Planets relying on us. Even, but... But... Sorry, I'm... Not really sure where I was going with this. I... I'm... I'm sorry. Stars, I must have said that a thousand times now. Ugh, sorry. <laughs> you know, I've been a captain on this ship for 13 months now. I've been a captain for over two years, and in that time, I don't think I've once broken character. Oh, you know what I mean. I'm sure you do it too. At professional... We're not always like that, despite what the crew thinks. Deep down, we're still the same enzymes. Just older. A lot older. A lot wiser. That's what happens when you fight a war. And it almost made me forget who I once was. I'd gotten so used to closing myself off, to giving orders, to... to making sacrifices that I'd become completely different from who I used to be. Then I get the briefing for this mission, get told the name of the captain I'll be handling the negotiations with, and that young ensign comes leaping back up to the forefront. That's what you do to me. You make me relax. I can be myself around you. I genuinely can't think of anyone else I'm like that around. Genuinely. Except for Commander Jarek, but you have to be relaxed around your first officer, don't you? But ignoring him. Thank you for that. For reminding me who I was. I know this whole thing has been entirely unprofessional, but... But damn it, Captain. After the things we've been through, I think we deserve it. I deserve it, and... And... I'll come here. Sorry for the... the informality, Captain, but... But we have tense negotiations ahead and I need to get all of this out of my system. I... You're not letting go. You... you liked it? Really? I... Oh, Captain, that's that's very kind of you to say, but but Space Fleet Protocol, two captains, we're not allowed to 
to mingle like this. I probably just broke half a dozen regulations by kissing you. How long have I wanted to do that? Ever since I saw them taking you away on that stretcher and knowing I couldn't go with you. I know our careers are important and the upcoming negotiations even more so, but... But honestly, Captain, after two years of running a starship, I've had my feel. I've made my mark and... And once this is done, I would be more than happy to retire, settle down and just explore the cosmos at your side, as partners. Is that... is that something you might be interested in too? You... you would? You will? Okay, okay, this is... Wonderful to hear, Captain. And once the negotiations are over, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. But until then, we have important matters to discuss regarding organisations, our two crews shift rotations, as well as planning our strategy when it comes to negotiating with the drunken diplomats. Now, based on previous attempts at diplomacy, the drunkens tend to favour a more upfront style in negotiating very rarely giving their opponent chance to breathe and... Oh, why the long face? I know it's serious work, but it's only for a few more days, Captain. Just a few more days of work. Perhaps the most difficult work of our careers. But I know that if we're together, working side by side, we can do it. You and me, saving the galaxy. Bit of a step up from diagnosing the warp engine, huh? But after that? After that, the future is ours. And we can live our lives together. I know, I know. I love you too.